Hey, Johnny here. Thank you for joining me for Clock Tower. It's time to get this A ending once and for all. Priest robes, the colour is completely faded. Eee. There is something in the pocket. Now I have the steer key. Now, apparently in here, it's something that I totally overlooked that really changes what kind of endings you can get, which I hate about this, because I do recall climbing the ladder. Okay, what's this? I know it's stuck between the books. It is written in a foreign language. Maybe Helen or Professor Barton can read it. You now have the foreign note. See, I think I clicked up here. And she just was like, foreign books, I can't yeah. Yeah, so that alone, that's one of the problems with this game is sometimes shit is so fucking over easy to overlook. But whatever. Okay. A chapel? It looks different from the ones I know. So we want this plate, which I still don't really get what that does. There is a... There is copper plate on the wall. Stars drawn on the plate. Ah. Well, maybe... Because of that sun, moon, star thing, they said to take the dry path. I don't know whether that's how you're meant to work it out. Like, looking at it and being like, well, the star is above water, so that's the dry path. Now we have the star plate. Ugh, that stench! It smells like a washed up, pathetic assistant inspector. Oops. Jennifer, you're still alive. Inspector Gott! Thank heaven! You're all right. It's Assistant Inspector. Inspector God. I always find that joke weird because, like, normally someone I'll will correct someone to kind of look for the others. upplay their title, not downplay it's it. It's Assistant Inspector. Anyway, be careful. Like, normally it'd be some, kind of a, like a joke of, like, disrespect. Quick! Speak to his crotch. The floor is bloodstained. Okay. So, we take the candle. The large candle's on the floor. You now have the candle. And we use our steer key. On here. Leads. Oh, let's fucking find out. This room isn't like any of the others. Out you go. Trying to avoid the scissor man. Wow.
bloody camera swooping around. Ratatouille. You have returned. I think that mouse ran in here. Ah. There's a small hole in the wall behind the table. Press a button to move the table. Press a button again to actually look in the hole, because what else would you want to do? A key! You now have a library key. Downstairs. Uh, that one. Bow, 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 bow. Hopefully, Scissorman doesn't just show up at an inconvenient time. If he didn't randomly show up, like it seems like a timed thing, I wonder if there's a way to play where you never actually, outside of the cutscenes, like him killing that security guard and such, whether he would actually show up. Okay, so we wanted to go in here. Uh, yeah, so we don't need to interact with that hand. I always forget that that doesn't really lead to anything. Oh. There is a book on the bed. A large book. The cover is made of copper. Yes, you now have the copper book. Badly stained bed. I don't care. I don't care. Just get out the fucking door. He's not handing me. Are we going to actually respond to him now? It's you, Jennifer. Professor Barton? That's that. Professor Barton? Are you alright? Why didn't this man kill all these people? I'm not injured. I'm just really drunk. This is an extremely important experience for me. Because... Here I am, at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. Hmm. The fuck? That's... Professor Barton? Why? Are you alright? I'm not injured. Ah, oh, I guess I was meant to this is an extremely sleep the note shot. This makes no sense. Jennifer, because are you not going to mention, like, well, hey, like, so-and-so Harris was fucking dressed as Scissor Man doing those murders, very, very and the real Scissor Man is here situation. as well? Mm. And said, hmm, that's my response to that. Because if I remember Barton, like, one thing I like about him is, like, he's always like, yeah, Scissor Man is dead, this is a copycat. Who is the copycat? So you think you'd want to say to him, like, well... That was the copycat. This whole case oh, you're Professor fucking interested Gordon, in. I found something I would like you to look at. What does this say? Hmm. It is in Latin. Okay. Words to open the door. Below that is written, 
N-ha-ish. What does it mean? I don't know. It means to open a door, just as it says. But it doesn't say which door. A door? Well, bye, Professor Barton. You're not interested in invest... God, I'm so confused by your motives. Okay, so... We need to go... Okay, never mind. Back we go. Door number three. Yeah, we need to go to the kitchen. floor and all that. The floorboards are loose. Yeah. There's something back here that looks like a switch. Yeah. Down I go. Apparently we just immediately try and leave. Something just made a noise. Sounded like it came from behind here. Beth! Beth! Oh, Jennifer! It's you! Are you hurt? No, I'm alright. He's going to kill us anyway. I don't want to go any further. <laughs> this isn't a picnic or anything. We can't get upstairs anymore. Why would we want to go upstairs? Because... We might be able to find a way out of here. There probably isn't a way out. Oh my god, you're so negative. But if you really want to go, take this key. And you took the key and sat on it anyway. I it a little while ago. I don't know what it opens... But it'll probably open something in this mansion. You now have the mansion key. Thanks, Beth. I preferred it when you were fucking stuffed into a wine cask. Alright, so now we need to open that gate. Yeah, she's so, Beth's just so like, fuck this, I'm out, I give up. I just immediately don't give a shit anymore. I think it was this door. No. Shit. I think I'm the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, the, the running thing I get, it took me a little while, but when you've got long hallways like that, it's kind of annoying that you can't just, um, 
Oh, we just do this. Yeah. You you can't just kind of select the very end. So she stops and starts. It worked. So apparently we come to here. It's no use. Metal fittings are completely rusted. Now I didn't even think to try this in my run. I forgot all about the oil can. It worked! Scissor man? A mummified scissor man. The corpse looks very old. A key. You now have the box key. Okay. I don't know why you refer to him as scissor man, just because there's a corpse in there. A rope. I wonder why the rope and candle love together. You now have the rope. What what candle? Some rope. Ooh. Uh I'm gonna pause. Yeah. Alright, we apparently try and open that. I just didn't wanna get scissor man when I don't wanna dick around with him. <laughs> open the door. Oh, he fucking shows up anyway. So I gotta leave and come back. No, the door. God damn it. I guess it's just bad timing. Fuck, am I just dead? No, nope, cool. You can say zero warning there. But where is she gonna go? Okay, I didn't ask you to do that. I want to do the kitchen, but instead we'll come this way. And I guess we'll use a bed sheet maybe. Actually, where's this go? No, I don't want to interact with any of that yet. Alright, back this way. Because my stamina is like... I got used up on the bats even though I didn't have to do anything. And then he showed up immediately like fucking dick. Yeah, if you can time it well, she'll just continue to run to the next objective. But I wish she stops and starts and stops and starts. So come on, says man, come and get your medicine so I can fucking get back to what I was doing. Stop and start, stop and start. I just don't want to run into him. I mean, that seems like an unavoidable, you know, your time's up, he's going to show up regardless. But, obviously some characters are still alive that were dead in my last playthrough. And I don't know how that works, whether it's time-based or you injecting shit in the wrong order. Okay, so apparently we used a rope on here. 
not something I would have thought to do on my own, really. Yeah, and then box key. Helen! Are you alright? Oh, Jennifer. Oh. Uh. Are you all right? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Is there a way out of here? I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. He could have killed all of you anyway, apart from Barton, who apparently was just chilling out. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion, and I must find it. Okay. You do that, Helen. Oh, and you're welcome for, you know, me leading you out of the box that you didn't try and call out or anything. You just rattled it. Right, so... I guess upstairs? So we need to go back to that balcony I was just on. Yeah, hopefully the survivors aren't timed or anything, because it's kind of sucky. Bye, scissor man. Oh. It totally could have gone me. It's everyone's favorite, Nolan. Jennifer. Nolan, you're alive. Where is everyone? I don't know. Scissor man. You've met half of them. And everyone scattered. I guess that's part of the problem. The dialogue is, <sighs> it's kind of fixed. And it's like, you found like five people, and you're like, where is everyone? It's like, you know where everyone is. It makes more sense for Nolan, Nolan to say it. you've hurt your leg. Just a cut. I'll be alright if I rest. Nolan, I'll go. By yourself? I'll come back. After I've found and killed him. Yeah, and then they do the little song and dance. Hit did it Get on with it. I'd like to do this in this episode. I haven't got much time left. Yep, yeah, thanks for the song. What was that? You saw them too? I've seen them a few times already. They are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. Yeah, the, the... So many. Oh my god, hurry up. Is that it? We're done? No more? Alright. Get the hell out of here. Um, trying to remember, I need to get back to the main hall. Ah, okay, I'm already in the room. Weird. 
Um, this one. It worked. Any other doors like that, you just automatically use a key, and then other doors you have to manually pick the key. I think the box key would make more sense to use on the box than, you know, the library key used on that door. Why not this door? Is this the library? Okay. So we need whatever's up here. Box is on the bookshelf. Can't reach it. Hello, lambskin parchment. The Barrow's family genealogy. What is this mark? Someone has been marked in red. The 13th generation Barrow's, Quinton Barrow's. It says treasure. Now I have genealogy. Through the door. Back we go. Out to the main hall. Now I think I need to go. This door. Wait. I think that's right. No, I always get these two mixed mixed up. Just before Scissorman shows up and fucks everything. Alright, there's Tim. Hey. It's Tim. What's wrong with these seats? Looks like we're in a bit of a jam, doesn't it? I think you that should leave. keep these matches. Okay. Matches? Maybe you'll need a light. Thank you, Tim. Kinda weird. Now I have matches. I'm going to talk to him again. What are you going to do now, Tim? I'll rest a little more, then try to find a way out. That's what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm not too sure I'll find one, though. Eh. I take my chances. He's pretty optimistic. Well, he's pretty like, eh. Everyone's so tired because of the flight and such. Yeah, everyone's just resting. How they all ended up here, we don't know. Jennifer made sense. But they were like, everyone's disappeared. If, if they were like, let's all go together to find Jennifer, and then something happens to separate them, that would make sense. Okay. Hurry it up. Black reads Quentin Tarantino. He is the 13th generation. No stuck to the back side of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quentin Barrows. Alright. So, back upstairs. No. Fucking oil can, I don't need you anymore. This game's really bad at like, okay the rope's gone now, but like, I still have the oil can. Unless I need it again, but 
I'd highly doubt it. Ah, shit. Damn it, terrible timing. Uh, just get the fuck out. Damn it! Scissor man, I can't fucking... Why couldn't you have done this just before? Alright, this time. In here. Get the bed sheet, fucking throw it on him. I think it's the white one. Yes, okay. That's almost a weird echoey thing. Now hurry up, we don't have time. Stupid scissor man, taking offence to me wandering around his castle, touching his things, solving his mysteries. Okay, now apparently we just look here first. I hope it's not just going to suck me up it. I can't see anything and it is too dark. Let me put the candle in the hole here. Oh, the stick. And change the stick holder. The candle's been placed in the holder. Light her up. Then she goes and has a look. Something stuck on the back. This looks like a sketch of the mansion. Now I have the mansion map. Now we do this copper box shit. There are scratch marks on the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. I still don't understand why I have to look at that before she'd think to put the copper box in here. You've already said all of these boxes are copper. Yeah, so I think I go down here. Because the star was above. It's too dark, I can't see anything. Get down there, girl! Otherwise it's just randomised some other way. Alright, this door. That must be how you solve it. It's kind of weird that you can't fucking look at the plaque. Like it looks like a little fireball. I would have thought that was, um, you know, the the sun. A dagger. A dagger with symbols carved in it. A dagger. Apparently you don't mash, which is what I did last time. You just select the door to get the hell out. So I must have just gone lucky and I happened to touch it. So now we're heading to the fountain room. Do, 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 do. Gonna be a longer episode than usual, but I'm not stopping for like another six minutes. So is there anyone we didn't find? Apart from Edward, we never find, but I guess that's tied into the story. Ten people. Uh, we need to go downstairs. Don't know why the camera starts on the opposite side of the room. Um, there's Barton, Tim, 
Harris, Nolan, Helen, Beth. That's six. She's number seven. Barton. No, I don't know. I, I might be repeating names. This might be the valve to drain the fountain. Is Martin still here? Alright. Alright. Oh my god, hurry up. I just want to see if Barton's here. Nope, he left. The water in the fountain drains away. Okay. So no Edward, no bludgeoning. Edward, please. Okay, did come. I know you're a good boy. Oh, she made it sound oh, like she went and let him go on his own. Edward. Because ah! I couldn't make out whose body it was next to Edward. Hmm. Let's go in. Yeah, I mean, okay, I guess I should remember that's kind of what she was wearing. So, it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. <gasps> she gasps. You don't mean... No! Oh, the so other twin. you remember twin. me now. Let's play again, Jennifer. Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor fingered little runt! <laughs> Just try it! I hope you hear him get stabbed. Oh god, where's the statue? There's a hole about 30 centimeters wide, yep. Lock. And apparently, we also need this. so deeply. Alright. I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Days? <laughs> I it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? Time flows differently for child molesters. Don't worry. You being 15 is sure basically 35 years us. old to me. You know, 
You're tough. <laughs> no, you're just weak. No, no. Helen? Jennifer, Nolan, Helen. Yay. I don't know if anyone else is alive. Okay, so apparently that's a ending, and it makes sense. You had to get some answers. Um, yeah, Edward's Dan, the other twin. So, yeah, that makes sense. A much better ending. Yeah, um, I, I did save just before that, so we can actually look at the B ending while we're here. Yeah, seven survivors. Out of ten? Who didn't make it? It should be... Nine. We got... Well, Harris. Oh, yeah, Harris, he died. Nolan, Tim, Gotts, Professor Barton, Edward, Helen, Beth, and Kay. So, yeah, Kay, Edward, and Harris die. So, yeah, okay, that's everyone, I guess. But, yeah, let's let's look at um, ending B. So, apparently for ending B... Uh, it's basically like the ending. Yeah, so I guess. It was you, Edward. That's why I understand Helen's ending being the B ending. Because <laughs> it's basically getting this far, out, but not Jennifer. using the dagger. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean. And I can't no. do C because. So you remember me now. Um, you have to have not had that foreign note let's play again jennifer uh, jennifer no come here you scissor fingered little runt i just love that just try it i don't know if anything happens if you don't put this up here So yeah, now we just leave Jennifer to die. Open the door and show me the way. Ha! E! And I get, yeah, because I was sure Helen Gen B seems pretty weird for like dying and, and all that, but I guess it's because you got right to the end but didn't do the final thing. <laughs> no one will know that I dated a 15 year old. Yeah, weird out, survivor unidentified. I guess if you don't survive, doesn't really say who did. Ah, weird. I used a save state to jump back to before I finished, but it's got both my endings. That's interesting. I didn't think it would do that. But um, yeah, that was Clock Tower.
Um, yeah. Uh, it has a lot of things I enjoyed about. I mean, I'll go over it quickly because A, we've been going for ages, and B, I've already kind of said what I've said about it. I do like these alternate pathways in there, especially with scenarios. Um, you know, sending Nolan to Rex or whatever. Like, yeah, there's definitely replayability in it. Um, I think some stuff, it's mainly the curse that can be a problem, a real headache at times. There's so many things it's easy to overlook. I even think, like, some things if you find it would have the, op like, it would be nice to have the option to choose to pick it up or not, especially if it's going to affect an ending. Um, yeah, the, the survivors, if you can rescue them in time. I'm guessing it's the order of things or scissor man encounters or something like that, perhaps. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, it's interesting, some of them you have to, like, even from scenario one, you, you need that oil can kind of thing to pay off later, otherwise, yeah, you'll screw yourself out of an ending. So, um, no, definitely, um, once you sort of understand mechanics of Stanimar and that, uh, yeah, it's quite a good, enjoyable game. The most frustrating thing is when you're trying to explore and that, Trying to work out what to do, and then you got Scissor Man on you, and you have to run all throughout the mansion and whatever, the castle and all that, just to get rid of him. It kind of jumbles up your your thinking, like you're trying to work things out, and that kind of like throws a spanner in there. But I do like how he can show up randomly, and then if you investigate certain things, you'll pop out. So, um, yeah. Definitely an enjoyable game. I'm looking forward to trying to seek them one out. Sorry, the third one out. Third one out. Clock Tower 2. Um, when I get a chance. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the run. And until the next game, thank you very much for watching. And take it easy.